from the mailbag. Dear Mr. Chig, I love your videos. Everyone should subscribe to your videos. I will tell all my friends to subscribe and their friends friends too. Ha ha. One question for you Mr. Chig. Why is it that you hide your keys in the bushes when you go detecting? It seems a very strange and odd thing to do for such a handsome young man. Ha ha. Well. That is not actually a letter from the Aquachig mailbox. However, if I did receive letters, they would probably sound exactly like this. Without words, I will tell you why I do not bring my keys with me in the water when I go detecting or searching for treasures in the rivers and on land as well. Ready? That was just from last summer, and that's not even all of them. Those are just the pretty ones that I kept. Let's take a look at them. As you can imagine, there were probably some very sad people out there, including Lindsay, who is actually not my wife, that had lost their keys last year when they were out playing in the river. And this is why I do not carry keys with me, because there's a very good chance you're going to lose them. But I'm going to tell you right now how I hide my keys whenever I go detecting or swimming on the river so that I don't lose them in the water. Because you bring them with you, chances are you're going to lose them. If you do the kind of stuff that I do, or the kind of stuff that these people did, including Lindsay. Here's a video clip just for you. I'm parked along the road here at a place I occasionally go detecting. And you can see it's a very, very busy highway. Now this is the vehicle I'm in today, which is a little RAV4. And I have my keys in my pocket, and I'm going to be going in the water. Now, I do not want to hide the keys anywhere near where these people can see me. Because if I do that, my car may not be here when I get back. Now, what most people do is they get their keys, and they walk around to the rear passenger side and they put them up under the wheel well up in there probably nine out of ten people will put their keys there and that's where you can find them if you see a car parked alongside of the road and another place that they put them is under the bumper if you have a bumper on a car now if I know that everyone else knows that and I want my car to be here when I get back so what I do is I take them with me down to the creek but I don't bring them in the water because they get wet and if these get wet they're shot okay I don't want to get it wet I'm not going to carry it with me but I'm going to show you what I do with it now what I have done is I have walked down over the hill where no one can see me from the road if they're looking and I'm looking for a place to hide my keys this is a likely spot it's a pile of grass it's the only pile of grass around here so what I'm going to do is put this right in a pile of grass and just put a little bit of stuff over top in case someone comes by. Now another thing you can do, say if there's a piece of trash like this laying out there somewhere, is you can put your keys underneath. And I always put it like way underneath just in case somebody comes by and picks that up, which is very unlikely to happen, considering this has probably been here for weeks or months or years. And that's a no fuss, no muss way of hiding your keys and knowing that you're not going to lose them on the water anywhere and that they're going to be there when you get back.